if there's ever been a fragrance that is has my name on it, quite literally, um, this has to be it. This was released right about the time that I released my channel. Um, so I released it back in like uh, August of last year and this came out uh, a few months after my initial launch. I did not copy the name, they copied me. So I got a little sample here um, because the, the bottle, before I blind buy it, um, I decided just to get a sample of it. Um, they don't have a clone of it, from what I know. Mason Alhambra has not um, made a clone yet of it, but uh, give them some time. Just give them some time and they're gonna make a clone. And they'll make like seven of them. If it's good, I'm gonna end up buying a bottle because I can't be Paragon Fragrance and not have a full bottle of Paragon Fragrance. It's like Paragon Inception, Paragon, Paragon. All right, the cap is off. I'm gonna just uh, dab it on my hand here. Little, little splash of splash. Making a little lake of Paragon there. All right, I'm really excited for this because, uh, you know, it's implied. I'm gonna let that uh, kind of simmer. And while I look up some of the notes here on my trusted source, Fragrantica because it's definitely always right. So on the top, you have lavender, sage, bergamot. In the mid, you have plum, placento, black pepper, sandalwood, and oud. Let's see what we get from my nose here. Ooh, whoa, hold on, Paragon. Oh, that's very nice, very nice. Lavender, and the lavender's beautiful. And it's mixing with sage um, and to provide that like sweet, that not, it's not overly sweet, but sage has this like modern sage notes, like in Ralph's Club and then in YSL Wyo de Parfum. It has that like sage character, same kind of sage character that you would find in those, the lavender sage kind of thing with that. Very nice, woody tone in the base, but just very pleasant, like a fruity sweetness, probably from the plum. Very woody. Oh my God. Initio. Initio and Paragon Fragrance should team up and we should just collaborate. I'm just trying to get a free bottle at this point. This is very nice. I'm gonna be ordering this um, as soon as I get uh, an extra. $300 I think it is, holy shit. I can buy it here for $250. What is the Christ almighty? Oh, I can buy it here for 370. Good Lord. I call upon the Mason Alhambre gods, please make a clone. This is very nice. It's unisex. It's a nice woody scent. It's got some fruity sweetness. It's got the same kind of plum kind of thing going on that you would find in Hawass, that kind of fruit. Um, definitely not aquatic like Hawass is, but you get that fruity zing um, with the lavender and the sage that you would find in Ralph's Club. Maybe Ralph's Club Parfum, like that smooth lavender sage kind of mixture. I'm definitely picking up the Oud. It is a very Oud-centric, um, you know, fragrance. The Palo Santo note in here, I think it's a woody kind of character. I, I'd never really heard of it and I've never smelled anything like it before. So um, I'm just gonna kind of contribute it to like a, a creamy woody scent. That's kind of what I'm picking up. It's kind of mixing with the sandalwood very beautifully. So it's a very woody dominant scent, but it's got some fruitiness, lavender, and that sage is providing the sage and the plum are mixing together to provide a little bit of a sweet tang to it. There is also like a peppery nuance in here too, but overall it's very pleasant. Um, this could be a really a daily driver. It's sexy, um, it's smooth. I would think of this as a like a spring, maybe like cooler summertime weather, fall most definitely, and in the winter, Yes and no. I mean, there's other options that I would go with in the winter time, but this is amazing. This is really, really nice. I uh, I actually think I'm 
gonna buy a bottle of this. It's smooth, it's creamy. I have a little bit here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a full wearing, a full proper wearing to see if I really, really enjoy it. Cause this is one of those fragrances that, man, this is not a blind buy safe. Not a blind buy safe fragrance at all. I mean, if I was loaded, like if I just had Ferraris coming out of my, you know, but for the time being, um, I, I think it's definitely not a blind buy safe and I would not suggest blind buying this. It's not something that will turn you off. I think that this is a very mass pleasing kind of smell. It's woody, it's lavender heavy, sage is in here. Um, and that peppery nuance really provides it a nice, well-rounded character to it. Definitely not really um, challenging, uh, per se, but I think just because of that price tag, it is not blind by safe. But as far as Paragon by Initio, oh, love it, man. I love it. As soon as I get some extra cash, um, by extra cash, I mean like a random inheritance from my estranged uncle or, you know, my feet finder account starts taking off then, you know, then I'll buy a bottle. This is nice, this is very nice. And then if Initio is watching this, how are you doing? All right, I'll stop, I'll stop shilling. All right, guys, I really like this. This is really good. Something I really am interested in actually picking up. And, you know, it's got my name written all over it, so. Have you guys tried Paragon by Paragon? Or no, by Initio, it's Paragon Fragrances reviewing Paragon. It's gonna get confusing. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And uh, yeah, this is a score, definitely a score.